Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from Pet Recipes of 1930, we're going to be making the cheese and sardine sandwich. Now, Pet is a company name, and they make evaporated milk. So the first thing we have to do is add evaporated milk to cream cheese and blend them together. Okay, now that our evaporated milk and cream cheese are all creamed together, we add in sardines. Then we're going to put that onto oatmeal bread. I'm using this oat nut bread from Oro Wheat. Okay, let's give this cheese and sardine sandwich a go. I mean, it's not bad. Sardines aren't a bad fish. It's just that it's sardines and cream cheese, basically. Uh, the evaporated milk's not bringing a lot of flavor to the party. Bread has a little sweetness to it and a little oatiness, which is interesting. I do want to plus it up a little. I'm going to add some of this Daybreak Everyday Seasoning Garlic Umami Furukake. Okay, let's give this cheese and sardine sandwich plussed up with uh, Daybreak Seaweed Company's Everyday Furukake a go. Here we got a little garlic, a little sesame seed, a little seaweed, and just bring some flavor to the party, which is really nice. Well, I have to say, the original uh, cheese and sardine sandwich, if you don't like sardines, you will not like that sandwich. But if you're okay with sardines, you'd be okay with that sandwich, because it really was just sardines and cream cheese. The, the evaporated milk didn't do a whole lot, except for make the cream cheese a little bit easier to spread. Um, Flavor-wise, I'd probably give it a five and a half. Plus, up with the Daybreak Seasoning Company's Everyday Furukake, um, has a little bit of garlic going on. I think that's that's probably like a six and a half. Uh, it is tasty. I am going to finish it plussed up. Probably not going to make this again. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow. <laughs>